Hi everybody, it's Trish. I'm out here today to talk to you about a very specific shot. And I'm talking about one of the greatest games that's ever been played in this entire world. It's baseball. Softball. Yes, I'm not talking about golf. But what I want to talk to you about today is the pitch. Okay? So here's the deal. Do you remember if you've ever watched softball, men or women softball, and they play what's called fast pitch? And the pitcher stands on the mound and they stand like this and they windmill their arm, they take a step and they release, and they allow themselves the most velocity they can get with their arm to release that ball into the pitcher, into the catcher's mitt. Okay? You know what I'm talking about? So it looks like this. Right? And so the fast pitch is created. The slow pitch, on the other hand, is when the, catch, the pitcher stands there and they toss the ball very high in the air and it just kind of drops right into the home plate. Well, we want to create that second shot today. We want to create that high pitch with the golf ball. Okay, it's if we have to go over a bunker, if we have to go over some sort of hazard and we want the ball to land very softly and not roll very much at all. Okay, one of the best ways we can practice this is with our tennis ball on a string. So when we have the tennis ball on a string, what we're doing is we're allowing ourselves to feel the golf club. We're allowing ourselves to respond to the golf club. We're swinging backward and forward from our fixed point. Remember the definition of swing is a to and fro motion or a back and forth motion from a fixed point, okay? Our body is that fixed point and the golf club is what swings. Make sense? All right, so here we go. When we make this shot, do I want to take my full stance for a 20 yard shot, not necessarily. So a general rule of thumb is the smaller I make myself, the smaller the shot will be. Kind of make sense? And I want to allow myself the rhythm to feel that tennis ball on a string, to feel the golf club swinging to and fro. So here we go, little 20 yard chip shot, nothing exciting we're gonna set up you notice I'm very small so my feet are pretty close together my hands are pretty far down on the club because I don't want a big shot this is about feel all right so we're gonna make our shot by swinging backward and forward from a fixed point eh, it was a little chunky Let's do that one again. I think I got a little bit excited for that shot. So let's try that again. We're gonna come here. We're gonna swing backward and forward from a fixed point. There you go. That's a little better. All right, so what we wanna do again is swing backward and forward from a fixed point. Our body is that fixed point and what swings backward and forward? The golf club. So. Remember, every single shot you practice, you have to bring out to the golf course. So just practice, it's no big deal, it's all fun, right? Have a good week, until next time, I'll see you in the short grass.